peace tribe um much love and much peace to my gods and to my goddesses to my nobles and my mavericks to my immortals my healers and my shamans um if you will to all my elementals who are here in the physical in the vessel in the elemental um I don't know if you have, I would probably assume a great deal of you have seen the movie um, The Last Airbender and it's vaguely um, posted around The Last Avatar which was an animated series which spoke to the elements that each tribe had whether it was fire, water, earth, or air. Um, I love this reflection because we are still very much here in that elemental factor, um, which is another reason why we bring these elements and these positions to play when we do ceremony, when we do ritual. It's nature's way of guiding us and making us aware of these elements and how we use those factors within ourselves, how we can find what are our strong suits and also how to symbiote them within ours because everything is alchemy everything is chemistry um for example i am a earth sign i am a virgo and i work quite well with water actually air and um just due to my nurturing nature and symbiote i work well with all of the signs um but some are just a little bit more conducive or a conduct for that earth element. Uh, fire. Um, I really love to bring this fold within the fold of ceremony when getting in contact with spirit. Um, fire is always a place of passion, of ignite, of awareness. So whenever we bring the element of fire into ritual, especially ancestral set, ancestral ceremony, and um, offering and such, we tend to ignite the way from the spirit plane and the physical plane with fire. We show our strength and our passion of intent with fire. So some of you may be familiar with the bay leaf ceremony and or ritual ceremony where you take a bay leaf and you write your intent, you write um, what you're releasing or and what you hope to gain, and you burn it. The burn represents release, extinguishing of, and it's also bringing that call of energy from the ancestral plane to show the level, the intensity in which you are looking to reflect and either absorb or release that frequency. It's always in the intent, but the fire aspect, the fire elemental, even that of smoke, it ties very closely with fire and earth. Those are the ties. And it's a speak, if you will. It has a language onto itself. Smoke it does. She dances her own way, but she is indeed an elemental. It's about knowing the alchemy of how to bring these things together. And so now that I see that these callings and crafts are coming out of my shaman, my healers, my abalozi, my bruja. So we're learning how to mix um, not only the ethers, and the elementals and the soul and the spiritual set um, to elevate this plane, this 3D plane, not only to the 5D, but that beyond. Um, these are some of the things that we examine. These are the ABCs of activating oneself, of bringing Mama Natu or Mother Nature into ritual, Mother Nature into ceremony. These are the ABCs of her. Um, this is definitely a nature element, an earth element. But if you combine this earth element with fire, it ignites so many different things. If you know the 
quality and intent of. So those are some of the things we will be going over and studying. We're going to be in high regard to serve, honor the goddess, honor the mother, Mama Natu, Yawa, Yawa, Yawa Guru. That is what we are here to do. High priestess places. Much love, much peace, my immortals. I hold you on high. I love you with all of my being, with all of the ethers, with all of the substance and elements that we will be bringing forth in high regard. For the most high, we're bringing the corner of the conscious places to this space. Much love, much peace, my immortals. Intro into elementals from zero point set. Intro into elementals from a zero point set. Thank <laughs> you.